boys welcome back to another video and this week it's pretty cool because as you can see instead of the normal team of the week which couldn't be a thing because of coronavirus and no one can play stay safe boys we've actually got the team of the week moments and i actually really think it's it's cool to be honest i know some it's mixed opinions on twitter some people are moaning but then again some people will moan about anything so i was actually really excited I think it because it's going to lead to some really cool cards. Some of the, when they choose some of the better team of the weeks. Obviously, this week for me, we were looking for Bale. That was it. That was the one, Gareth Bale. And in the first one, we go and get Miguel Leun. Um, you know, we did we, not what we wanted. And in the second one, a Bubakir. So, I mean, that that possibly some of the worst red picks that I've ever had in my life, ever. So as cool as the new team of the week is, nah, those reds weren't it. But yeah, on a, on a whole, I do like it. It's a cool replacement for team of the week. You know, EA had no choice, to, but they had to do something. And I think they've done something pretty good with it. So anyway, we've got a bunch of packs in the store, including a prime icon player pack. Well, that, boys, is not for today. That's for Saturday. So just bear that in mind. Saturday, come back here. We're going to be cracking that bad boy open. And onto the first of the mega packs. And it's absolutely nothing, as you would expect from a Virgil Dan Dyke pack opening by now. Schultz, awesome, great. Onto the second mega pack. And we do get that is something. And it's a Buds. Dutch centre back. Into Milan. Why couldn't it just be Liverpool? And it is De Vrij. I, I could do with packing Van Dyke. I feel like that'd be a pretty cool thing for a cool title. Dan Dyke packs Van Dyke. Anyway, on to the I think third and final mega pack, and we do get something again. Boards again. Argentine. Centre back, Manchester City, and we pull a truly, truly dreadful centre back. If anyone's a Man City fan, let me know. I know there's not too many of them about, but awful centre back, this man. On to the Prime Electron Players pack, basically a 45k pack, I think. That might be, that's exactly what it is, maybe. Either way, it gives us absolutely nothing. So, whatever. Get out my face, Luis Felipe. Right, boys, I might have been mid-sentence just then. But because I'm a very professional and very good YouTuber, I have to do a jump cut. So, yeah, best YouTuber in the business. Anyway, we do get a board. Brazilian, CDM, Lazio. And that is, of course, Lucas Leiva and Lagui. I'm telling you boys, one of these days I am going to get better at this YouTube stuff. I've been doing it for, I think, I think it was four months yesterday. I think, I think my first video went up on the 18th of November. So you think by now I'll start getting a little bit better, but apparently not. <laughs> and in this pack we get absolutely nothing. So let's just get that out of here. Get past it and get onto the final two 50k packs. Giovinco. Didn't even know who was still about. So. And now on to the two 50k packs. The last two packs of the episode. Like I said, we're saving the Prime Icon pack for Saturday. So get ready for that, boys. Prime I9. We do get a walkout in the first 50k pack. Spanish centre back. FC Barcelona. And of course, that is going to be Gerard PK. I was hoping it would be Ramos when I saw Spanish centre back. But whatever. I don't even know if Ramos is worth anything anymore. He probably is still. Definitely worth more than PK. Well, that's for sure. But we'll take it. That is going to be good for a trade-in at some point down the line. And absolutely nothing else in the pack. So yeah, the last pack of this episode. And can we finish it off on a high? No. No, we can't. Not even a boards. It was, in fact, Luis Gustavo, which is a throwback, because I used to love him on FIFA. But he's uh, lost his legs now. 
So, him and his 53 pace can, or whatever it was, 56, 53, can, can get out of here. So, boys, that is going to do it from me. My voice just nearly cracked then. We will be back on Saturday, like I keep saying, to do that Prime Icon pack. Hopefully, we'll get something pretty decent. Oh, and while I'm on the squad screen, just thought I'd mention it. Kyle Walker got an upgrade because that Team of the Week card came out, the 87 centre-back. And those headliner cards always have to stay at least one above the nearest in form or two above if they've had their upgrade for winning four games, which somehow Man City didn't do, which I can't believe. And obviously, I don't know how they could do it now. Same goes for Diego Carlos. You know, he's supposed to get an upgrade if they go through the Europa League, but how is he going to do that now? So I'm hoping he just give them both upgrades anyway at some point. But I don't know. So anyway, boys, thank you so much for watching. As always, please go down, hit like, subscribe if you're new. And as I said, I will see you again on Saturday for that icon pack. Maybe some other people's icon packs. Maybe. And some other packs as well. Cheers, boys.